Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a no communication reading for my dearest Leos. Leo, we're going to take a look at your person, what they might be thinking or feeling or how they're viewing you in this situation. Um, also any possible future action that they may take towards you. And we're also going to see what lessons need or needed to be learned from this connection and any advice that spirit needs you to hear at this time. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Leos for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got your energy, the strength card coming out in reverse. You could be dealing with another Leo. They're viewing you as the two of swords and the two of wands. And we have the Page of Wands. Okay, it looks like you've got a little bit of a player on your hands, to be honest, Leo. I feel you've got somebody here that either they have Leo in their chart, but they really embody the shadow aspects of Leo energy, which can be somebody here who's quite stubborn, somebody who is um, headstrong and self-centered. Um, this person may also be very superficial is kind of what I'm getting. I also feel with the Page of Wands, they have a there's a lack of emotional maturity here is what I'm picking up on. So the strength card and the page of wands in reverse tell me you both how you, not you both, <laughs> that this person has, is very wish-washy. They're in this very in or unbalanced masculine energy or rather distorted masculine energy. My goodness, my, <laughs> my tarot speech, my English today is not that great. Um, so distorted masculine energy is somebody that like wants to be the alpha, like always, um, you know, there's somebody that wants to dominate, you know, they're very headstrong. They may have wanted to be dominate, to dominate you or be very possessive of you. Um, this person probably has a history of relationship issues, um, you know, which can be like a fear of intimacy or, you know, rejecting like that very intimate connection. And I'm not talking about physical, uh, physical intimacy. Um, and, you know, this is somebody who may be really afraid to be seen as weak. Um, and they, somebody who also suppresses their emotions, their true emotions and feelings. So I do feel, Leo, it's kind of hard to get to know this person. Um, pay attention to the number sequence 2-2, two, two, important number sequence for you regarding this connection or your path forward. Yeah, this person definitely, they, they have so much ego energy, Leo. It's like hard to be in the same room with them is kind of what I'm getting. They always want to be the winner. They do want victory here in this situation <clears throat> and the three of cups energy in reverse, but I feel you're a play. I feel this person is a player. I was going to say, I feel your person is a player here. Um, they get a lot of attention. They probably put you in third party situations. It could have been a short lived connection, hopefully uh, for my Leos out there. For others of you, it was something that was more long term, but they're viewing you as the two of swords here in reverse. So I think you spoke your truth to this person. I think you were honest and you were vulnerable with this person. I also think they're seeing that you see or saw right through them and you've moved on. You've taken a risk, a leap of faith in a new direction. This person's most likely very triggered by that. And they're seeing you as the King of Cups. So they're seeing you as somebody, again, who is very loving, very caring, um, somebody who is, you know, responsible, um, somebody with a lot of clarity, somebody who, you know, the King of Cups doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve, but you know how the King of Cups feels about you. And, and I think this person you know, is really recognizing here that you've moved on from them because they weren't giving you the respect that you deserve is I definitely get that. They may have let friends or family interfere, but I just feel this person likes to get a lot of attention. They may have also tried to get, you know, make you jealous at times, Leo, um, you know, telling, telling you how much attention they got or, you know, how good looking people thought they were. I just feel this person's quite, um, yeah, I just feel like they're quite shallow, to be honest. They are making some sort of decision here. Yep, this person is probably doing things behind your back. I do feel most likely they're probably playing the victim here or trying to make you look bad to any sort of, um, you know, mutual acquaintances, friends and family members. Um, I do feel this person subversive, Leo, I'm not loving their energy, to be honest. I feel like they're emotionally immature. They're probably gossiping and talking a lot of SHIT. I do think, though, that they're strategizing to come towards you. 
which I know sounds like what, like, but it happens and I'm seeing it here because this person wants to control the narrative and how they're seen and how you're seen because they can no longer control you. But what I am seeing here is that like they are still trying to win you back because it's like they don't want to feel like their ego almost can't take it that you're not either trying to, you know, chase them or that you left them. And Eight of Wands energy in reverse. You do need to protect your energy here is what I'm seeing. Um, this person is probably going to reach out and it's going to be something. It's, they're not going to mean what they say or say what they mean. Um, so they may reach out about something totally, you know, off the wall. Or they may, you know, want to get something back that you have of theirs. Or they might call to ask you a question about work or something like that. Or, you know, something that's just besides the point. And, um, yeah, just read between the lines of their communication, the queen of swords. Okay. So they are, I, I think this is your energy though. I think you you see through this person. I think you, you probably gave this person a lot of love. I think you gave this person chances. Um, and I don't think you're doing that anymore. The queen of swords, she's quite formidable. And I feel like that's your energy. And I feel like you're most likely cutting this person, cutting them off, cutting them, cutting them out is what I'm getting for the vast majority of you. All right, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Leos, please. Yeah, your person, they're still angry. They're still hurt, but there's a lot that they're not dealing with. Again, I don't think their ego can, you know, will allow them to be accountable. And, and I think they've got a lot of shadow work to do. And I think they're probably avoiding you for now. And like I said, they're most likely controlling the narrative behind your back, how people view you, how people view them. Um, it's, it's unfortunate. Yeah, but it's coming from a place of sadness and missing you. And now they're really unsure of their future because they may have thought that you were never going to leave or you would never like, you know, get wise to what, you know, what games they were playing here. Yeah, your energy, um, the runner. So I do feel like spirit's giving you a clear message here. Run, right? That's the energy I'm getting here. And I know it sounds kind of negative, but a lot of you, you have left this person in the past, but this is a reminder. They're still in your energy. They're still there. They still might plan on like reaching out, you know, like a year later and like, Hey, how are you? What's up? You know? And you're like, what? Um, but anyway, they, there's, there's a fear of intimacy, listening to their ego. Again, you're dealing with somebody in a very distorted masculine energy. And for a lot of my Leos, you did, this person did hurt you. And, um, and I think they know that. Um, but I feel like this separation energy, um, is, is very telling on both sides of the, of, of the, of the, of the reading here for both of you. I, I feel like, I feel like my Leo's, to be honest, I feel you're better off because I, it, for a lot of you, there's a deal breaker here with this three of cups, you know, for a lot of you, they may have even, and this is a really interesting message. It's coming through. They may have even like hooked up with like a friend of yours or family member, like something big is coming through there for some of you. Um, so yeah, it feels like major deal breakers here. Um, all right, let's see. Let's see. What are the lessons that need or needed to be learned here for my Leos lessons that need or needed to be learned here. Creativity, find ways to infuse a routine with something fun and different to breathe new life into it. Yeah. Some of my Leos too, you probably got bored with this person's attitude, their behavior, their need to be in the spotlight all the time. Um, some of you, I, I'm getting like, you might've felt this person was a bit and I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, you thought this person was dumb, but I feel like you're more creative than this person. So I do think a lot of my Leos, you probably made, um, you know, you probably made excuses or you probably, well, they're very sweet. They're very kind, but I don't think this person was in alignment with you in a lot of ways. And most likely you're much more creative than they are. And I, and I kind of feel like maybe they didn't understand your creativity. Cause I'm kind of getting this energy, Leo, like if you like to, you know, if you have like a unique style, for example, right. And let's say you like to wear, you know, clothes that, you know, not everybody else likes to wear every once in a while you like to like, you know, wear like a pop of color or like funky shoes or something, or do something funky with your hair or your makeup or whatever. Um, like this person would probably criticize you. They probably didn't get it. They probably didn't appreciate Mm, uniqueness and creativity is kind of what I'm getting. Mm. All right. And blame, understanding that we all play a part in how things unfold creates accountability. Again, I think this person probably can't drop into the energy of accountability. Um, they're probably blaming you for everything. 
And again, that's just because there's that emotional immaturity and there's that strong, imbalanced ego. Um, and we get suspicion. You are encouraged to get to the heart of a matter to confront or dismiss it. Yeah, and some of you, this person may have been, they may have been doing you dirty for quite some time. And for, I keep getting a message and, I, and I'm so sorry for those of you that this resonates with. Some of you I'm getting, like you may have suspected that they were like, there was something going on between you and one of your friends. I'm sorry, between them and one of your friends. And, the, and you may have gotten that confirmation here. Okay, not in this reading, but you may have gotten this confirmation. And, and, the, and that's why things ended. It just keeps coming through, like comes through strong or it is coming through strong. That's why I feel like you're in the queen of swords energy. You're, you're just kind of not having it with this person. So let's see, what do they want to tell you? What At the ego level, what do they want my Leos to know? I miss hearing your voice. Some of my Leos, you sing. You like to sing. Um, and I regret lying to you. Yeah, and they did. I'm definitely getting that they lied to you here, Leo. Yeah, next energy. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like I feel like I can say that without, you know, unapologetically because you're in the full energy and the king of cups, most likely you have moved on from this or you're already in a new relationship or you're hopefully you're already, you know, you've already gotten to a point where you're happy and balanced and healed from this. Okay. Um, life hasn't been too nice to me and I took that out on you. So again, you might've made excuses for this person. Oh, they had a bad upbringing. Oh, they had an abusive childhood. Oh, you know, they've been through a lot, you know, for some of you, I'm getting, um, you know, this person may have had like PTSD or may have had, yeah, something from something, um, military experiences that, that weren't so great. Um, and I know I failed you and let you down big time. So they do know they effed up here, Leo. And I hope you allow me to turn up, turn to step up and turn this around. I don't think my Leos are going to let that happen. To be honest, I really don't. I think they, they think in their in their fantasy world that yes, they can, but mm, I don't think so. Okay. And the call of the night, daring, adventure, and excitement. I think my Leos, I feel like this is your energy. A lot of you, I, I just get that you're free spirited, you're free thinkers. You do things your own way. A lot of you, you have a very like artsy, free spirited vibe and style. And I feel like without this person like on your back or criticizing you or, you know, that you're just, you're doing things your own way. And I, and I don't think any of you, like some of you, you know, you might be like, oh, I'm going to end up an old cat lady. You're definitely not. Um, but I feel like you're happy where you are. I feel like you're, you're enjoying the, you're enjoying this new cycle for you in, in love and in life for yourself and the monster within a lot of you, this person may have had temper issues. Um, I'm also seeing internal struggle, personal challenges and wanting to improve. I feel like that's your energy, Leo. I feel like you're just, you're in a major glow up here. I feel a lot of you, you have, or you are healing from this and you're, and you're moving on. And I, I really do love that. Wolves might be, uh, some of you could be your spirit animal, spirit guide. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending my Leos lots of love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to drop a comment down below and let me know how. Um, also, um, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and check out the um, description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light. Take care.